Oh my gosh. Hi everyone, Zandra from Scraps of Beauty. How are you guys? Just have to fix my chat here. Just hold on one second. There we go. Hi Mitt. Hi Marilyn. Hi Amanda. Hi Heather. What else did I miss? Hi Sugal. How are you guys? Freezing out, isn't it? It's freezing here in the east. Hi Mitts Mitts. <laughs> I'm just seeing how everybody else comes in. So I have um, a couple things to show you. Hi, Mama. Um, let me just, uh, I'm going to post a link just so I can fix my chat. Let's see if it, um, if that works. Let's see if I can get it to work. So my chat keeps moving up. Nope, that's not working. <laughs> uh, I miss Pris. Hi, Kathy. <laughs> uh, why doesn't that work? <laughs> Great. Juice to keep warm. <laughs> I had some hot chai earlier before. <laughs> um, so here's my little elf. Next week, I don't know. I know it's Thanksgiving next week. So I don't know how many of you guys will be here next week. I'll be here. Because um, we just have a small little... Thanksgiving it's just the three of us so we don't really um, have a big family or I don't have to cook a lot so um, I will be here next week and we are going to do um, a little elf on the shelf book I'll probably use the bow bunny candy lane um, paper so um, that's what we're going to do and then if uh, some of you saw my um, post on or not my post my tweet I don't know I guess it was on Facebook too yeah. um and I did this, I watched um, Julie Nutting on Live with Prima, her recording, and she did a little ornament, but she used the girl. So, um, we're going to do a little shelf to elf, and uh, we'll have them posing and stuff like that. So, I, I wanted to give it for my nephew, so we'll see how it goes. Hi, Ella. I oh, love my frame. Thank you. <laughs> Leaks. Yes, please, uh, please, Eileen, please, yes, post it. I tried to do it, but it didn't work. Links are opened, yes. You love the elf, but your husband ha hates them. <laughs> Hi, Sophie. <laughs> I like the elf. If you saw, um, I just caught the tail end of uh, Dee Dee's this morning, and uh, she was doing elf. Uh, she has a little girl elf, um, which she calls, um, what does she call? The enabler Eileen. <laughs> um, but thank you. <laughs> and then... Um, I am going to do one for my nephew, and the, I'm not sure if I'll do my niece. My niece is kind of old. I don't know if she'll like it or not, but um, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I have um, this to show you tonight. I have a 50th wedding anniversary for my uncle and my aunt. And um, hold on. Did I paint the frame? No. It came like that already. Just let me refresh here for a second. Oh, no. Wait, reload. Oh, no. Don't reload. I can't do it. Hold on, trying to see if I can get my chat to stop moving up, but it's not working. Let's see, there we go. Hi, Cindy. So, it's a surprise wedding anniversary. It's 50 years they're um, married together, so. Oh, thank you. So, this is um, from Simple Stories. It's called The Story of Us. I've had it for a while. It's been out for a while. And um, well, I knew they were going to, we knew a long time ago that they were going to have a surprise party for them. And uh, we, did it work? Uh, yeah, it's still, mine's still going up. I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh, your hubby is resting. Oh, sounding down. Oh. Um, so um, this is like uh, my other frame it ones that I did, you know, with um, Prima's, um, Travel in time, and then remember we did the Halloween one. My my nephew, he just loved it. So um, I might do another little elf one for him for Christmas, but we'll see. Click on the last link and post them back to... Okay, let's see. All right, hold on. 
Let's see. It's such a pain with that chat moving up. It just makes it so hard to talk to you guys when it does that. Well, let me see. Does that work? Let's see. Hi, Cher. <laughs> oh, let's see. Hi, Blissful. Yes, that worked, I think. Nope, my, nope mine's still moving up. I don't know what to do about it. I'll just have to keep keep tapping. And hi, Jim Marie. So what I did was, um, this is going to be my card. And so it pulls out and it says happy anniversary. And then I'll put my little saying here in the back. And then this is a pocket that pulls out. So I figure it says Mr. and Mrs. And it has a little spot here for journaling. And then in the back, hi, Kay. Um, they figure they could put their picture for their 50, um, 50 year. I'm sure they'll get lots of pictures. So. So that goes in there like that. This holds about a little over 20. I think like 21 or 22 pictures in here. So, and then this one will go back. And then they could either keep this card out or just stick it back in, whatever they want to do. And then it flips up like this. Oops, this is a page. So I'll do this page first here. Hi, Scrap Chick. <laughs> So um, then this, the, I made this a little pocket, and so then these pull out. So there's one here, and then this one I put a little photo corner so that it won't slip out. And so they could put a picture behind here, each one of these, if they want. And then it just, this one slips in first, and it goes behind here, and then this one goes in here. And then this page, it's just, um, it has a little lip here so that I could stick, um, a photo in here that it'll hold it in there and then this one also has a pocket so this pulls out oops and it's got the cute little bird and then the back so you could put pictures on that I probably put journaling here maybe a picture on the back here so then this um, opens back up and goes in there I wanted to make sure they knew that um, their daughter scrapbooks a little bit, not much, but so that they would at least see um, see it. And then this one will flip over, and then this is a little frame, and I left it loose here so they could put something there. I didn't want to put too much flowers so it could still stay nice and flat. And then this one just flies in and out. So for 50th anniversary, the theme is gold. That's why it's all white, black, and gold. And then this one flips out like that, too, for pictures. And this one I left blank too so they could stick their picture in here. And then another place for a photo, another place for a photo here. <clears throat> can you see that? Yeah. And then this one's another photo and then this one slides out really gold and sparkly on this side. And then I use the um, acrylic pen to um, outline them and then if you saw my Instagram hi fairy hi hi Heather how are you hi Aunt Maggie they um I did I didn't bring my um I'll see if I can find on my phone I did um, cupcake liners because they're having cupcakes and I did them all with um I didn't have the Cricut cartridge I wish I did of the cupcakes um but um so I had to do them all by hand which wasn't that great and then these slide out these come out like that so it's like a little matchbook then this pulls up and then this is has another it actually comes out for a picture here and then this is a um, acetate piece that they could stick a picture underneath and then this is the uh, um the photo mat here so and then of course you know this can pull out so her daughter can take this whole thing out see how nice and flat it is um, she can put it in a book and then they can actually put um, a whole picture in there if they want. So, so I hope they like it. <laughs> so we'll see. So then this just slides right back in here. And this one I didn't do with the craft text. I probably should have. But um, she's probably going to put it right in a scrapbook. So I have to stand it up to do it. Um, I'm saying then it just slides right back in. And then it gets tucked behind this flower. And there it is. And see how nice and flat? doesn't really stick out that much, which is nice. I mean, it'll stick out a little bit more with the um, when they put the photos in there. 
but I really like the way it turned out so and then I have enough that I can give the daughter um, the rest of the paper and she can make a bigger album if she wants to but yeah I just bought this frame at um, TJ Maxx and then I just um, went ahead and did it you always have to do at least five by seven so this is five by seven insert in here so <laughs> thank you Sophie <laughs> Yeah, I love making these, I, and they're really quick. I think I did it, like, I want to say, like, in six hours, maybe, four or six hours. It's really quick. And it's something that they'll be able to just stand up on their um, table, you know, um, so it'll just stay. And see how it doesn't really stick out that far? This is the card, so that, would, of course, would come out. But thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah. So, yeah. And I like when you turn it up like this. That just the two birds are showing on each side so thanks Cindy yeah so I think they'll like it yeah um, so yeah so everything is in gold we all had to go out and get something with gold she wanted everybody to be in gold so <laughs> let me see if I could let me see if I could show you the cupcake liners if I could find them hold on <laughs> oh, hold on um hold on one second trying to look for it oh yeah here we go so let's see what hold on <laughs> nope that's not it oh there it is can you see the cupcakes there it's hard to see if it doesn't focus that good but this one says 50 years, and this one has some glitter on it, and then this one's just plain gold, and then it says, um, um, happy anniversary. So I had to do, like, 60 of them, so that was a lot, that was more work than the mini, believe me. <laughs> Hi, Barry! <laughs> you couldn't get in, oh no! <laughs> so, yeah. Alright, and so, um... So just to let you know, for next week, I will be here next week, and we are going to do um, something with the Shelf on the Elf mini, and we're going to play with um, this stamp, um, Hunter, not Hunter, I want to keep calling him Hunter, Aiden, we'll play with that stamp, and I think I'm going to use this one for the girl. So we'll do some girl elves, and we'll do some, um, some of the boy elves, and make a cute little book. So that'll be next week. So I will be here, and if you're not here, I hope you enjoy a good Thanksgiving. So, thank you, thank you, Ella. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Eileen. All right, so then tonight we're going to finish up. We did this last week. I still didn't put my glitter on my, <coughs> but I cute used this cute little bow. Isn't it cute? This is from um, oh, what's the name of that die? Help me out, Barry. <laughs> It is, and there's two different kinds. This one is the mosaic, and then they have another one, I think, with flourishes. But it's cute. It's uh, called the um, Itty Bitty Bows. And it's nice that they have this one, and they also have the long one. So that's what I used here. Cute. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. And so we left off here last week. We put our little elves hats in here, and um, we did our binding, which is, let me get that. I have our binding, which we did last week, which is just strips of this, inch and a quarter with a quarter inch down the middle. Hi, Jenny. The mosaic, thank you. Um, and then we just glued them all together. So tonight we're going to put our pages in there, which we already cut out from last week. And then just finish decorating. So I chose these, um, this punch. Oh, thanks. Maybe that will help my chat from moving. Yeah, they have the mosaic and I think they have a flourish one too, Jenny. So what we're going to do is, this is our first page, and what I did, let me just burnish this down one more time. Where's my bone folder? Nope, that didn't help me. 
That didn't help me. So what I did was, um, these are um, an inch, and I like to have a little bit of the um, black showing. So I did leave a quarter of an inch, like I did on this page here, you can see. I left just a little bit of black showing. Can you see that? Right there. About an eighth of an inch. So what you're going to do is you're going to, and the whole purpose I did this was just to extend, because these pages are um, six inches wide, and I wanted to get the book a little bit wider. So what I did was where your design is, and so this space here has got to be at least three quarters, whatever your design is there. And then I stick, I only go halfway halfway in oops of course I'm doing it the wrong way <laughs> so you're gonna go half so the idea is to get half of the glue on this and then half on your um, binding so it just extends your page out just a little bit more to give you more room oh the poinsettia yeah we're gonna use the poinsettia one tonight and that is Let's see where it is. And I really like this um, this one, the poinsettia. That's that one. And that's this one here. So if you don't have a poinsettia and you're looking for a nice poinsettia dye, this is really nice. This is the filigree poinsettia. So we're going to use that tonight instead of the Spellbinders one. And it's the same one that did the bow. So then I'm going to take this off. Oh, my chat still won't stay still. And then what you're going to do is you're going to just line. I should do it on this side. So you can, can you see that? Let me move you in a little bit closer. Uh, let's see. There we go. Oh. Every time I do that, I do something to computer, it um, it removes my chat. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Jim Marie. All right, so then what we want to do is I wanted to leave a little bit of the black. And whatever you do is what's going to um, dictate the rest of your pages. So then what we have to do is just put... Um, I already went ahead and put glue on all of my strips. So we're going to take our next page, which is this one. And you just want to make sure, let me line this up. Not so much what um, ends up here. You want to make sure that this is square and this. You want this pages to be even. So I just hold this like this. And you can put a little um, paper clip here to make sure that it's nice and straight. And mine's just a little bit off. There we go. And then you're going to take your tape off. And then you just want to make sure that you put it right above, right in the middle, between the end of the page and your strip. I got a little bit crooked. And then burnish it down. And then that's how I attached all my pages. I never glue, um, when I'm doing a book, I never glue the page shut. Because if I decide I want to add a flap or I want to make it a pocket, I always leave them open and then I go back and do it um, again. All right, so then we need our next page, which will be this one. And then again, you're just going to take your strip, peel this off. I'm going to make sure it's nice and even. And then you're going to lay this down. Actually, I'm going to lay it down on this first. 
this is the right side, right? Yeah. So remember halfway, can you see it? Halfway on the glue, halfway off. And then once that's on there, then you can go ahead and stick this down. And then I, like I said, I like to leave a little bit of the black, but you can go right down to just before the score line if you want. But I like to leave a little bit. Ah. Oh, of course I did it crooked. Crook it again. Why is it when... You, when I'm on here, it's like it goes perfect, like of course, every time. And then when I'm showing you guys, it's like not. There we go. Burnish this side. And then we're going to do the next page. And the next page is this one. So now you want to make sure that these are even. They're upside down. What's upside down? My trees are upside down. Oh, you're right. They are upside down. <laughs> oh, well, I guess this one's going to stay that way, upside down. <laughs> it never fails, right? <laughs> I see it's upside down now, but it's too late. Unless I, uh, I don't think I can. Because if I take it off, let's see what happens. No, it's stuck down there now. Once we put our mats on there, you're not going to notice that it's upside down. You guys won't tell, right? <laughs> All right. So we're going to make sure we have this one nice and even. Clip it on there. Take your strip. Pull it off. <laughs> it looks like <laughs> scary forest arms. <laughs> All right. And then you're going to do the same thing Oops, on this one. Stick this down. So there we have our next pages. I'll make sure the reindeers are the right way. <laughs> So we have this. So again, I'm going to put it on. The, when you have to put the one that's on the, the new one, it's always easier to put it on the page itself first. <laughs> uh, I could use undo, but I, I think my undo is downstairs. <laughs> so it'll just have to stay. So I'll make sure I get this half. And then it's going to go on here. I think it's better if I just put it this way where I can see. There we go. So it does go pretty fast once you get going. I have to say that. So this one goes here. I'm gonna make sure I have my my one right ones on the right one. Sleigh bells, no but no well, I think this is wrong. There we go. That would have been upside down. <laughs> okay. So again we're going to make sure that this is squared up. Remember you always want to make sure that this side is squared. And then take another strip, peel this off, and then just make sure that that is down. There we go. Hi, Gay. <laughs> So then we have that down. 
And since I know these are all going to be pockets, but like I said, when I'm first doing a book, I don't know what it is. We'll go back and we'll close them all except for um, to make them pockets. So we need another strip. We need this piece to go here. So I'm going to put this on here first. Oops, this one's not cut. Hold on, I have to cut this one. Um, what I usually do is when I first start out, I punch them longer than what they are. And then I see where the design is that I want. So this is a good thing I can show you here. And then I line them up so that they, um, they match. On that side. And... This way you always have a mirror image of your um, strips. doesn't matter so much here because you're really covering it. But if we were doing like um, acetate pockets or something like that, it would matter. So again, lay this down. Make sure you have the, your border on the inside. Make sure it always goes to the right side. I've done that before too. <laughs> so... Here, there, where's it? Okay, and then just line it up. Like I said, you could go out down to the score line, but I wanted that little bit of black showing, so I left it. And the next one is the stripes. I don't have to worry about those too much. So remember, we're going to... I want to just double check that my red stripe is at the bottom. Nope, it's at the top. So we're going to go like this. And then after we finish the elf, um, I think we're going to do another um, acetate. Um, book using the Bow Bunny Altitude, the acrylic. We're going to do all acrylic, um, and then we're going to have our um, penguins. I want to see if I can get the penguins to slide down, and then we're going to um, put some little uh, polar bears in there. So it should be fun. Um, maybe I can show you that next week. So then you want to make sure. Now see this one. I have to make sure it's nice and even. Like I'm off a little bit here on this side. I probably should put two clips. Why is that so much higher? Oh, see, like I went off a little bit. You can see here I'm off a little bit. So you got to make sure that you definitely, like this page is definitely, I have to fix it. That's way too much. Now I do need the undo, Ella. So let me see how I'm going to fix this. So I want this page, it's just up a little too high. So I think, don't look, <laughs> don't look. I'm going to put another piece of score tape here. I'm going to put it on my book. You also have to make sure that it is straight also so I want to make sure that I am not crooked and of course get stuck Not get this one to go straight. There we go. Oh, I have too much glue showing. I told you, it never fails. When I do it by myself, it's like perfect. And then when I show you guys, I always mess up. Why is that? 
There we go. <laughs> Call Gabby to bring you out. <laughs> Are you kidding me? She is like exhausted. She just started working in New York and um, she just got home probably like half hour ago. And um, the trains, we thought she was going to get stuck in Newark because um, there was a delay in the trains. There we go. And luckily though, she got home well, a little late. But um, yeah, she gets up like 4 o'clock in the morning to get the train at 6. So... I don't think she would be too happy of me calling her to go get me undo. <laughs> All right. Now we can start again. That's better. So see? No harm. So again, you're going to take this off. And then you want to just make sure that it's halfway off, halfway on. There we go. See? Now it's all nice and even. No harm. All right. So then we have our next page, which is this one. So that's going to go right there. So again, you're going to... Oh, I need to cut two more strips. So let's cut two more. Oops. So again, like I said, you cut them longer so that you can uh, mirror image them. So... Cut that one. I have patience. <laughs> that That's what people tell me. I have a lot of patience. I used to have a lot more, I think, when I was younger. But sometimes I now I think I don't have too much patience. <laughs> Alright. So I want to cut this one. Here. It's pay. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, she's always had to get up early. We have a, um, a different school here that they go to. And she went to, um, it's out on Sandy. They call it Sandy Hook. And uh, she used to do um, ROTC, which is um, like for the Navy. And she used to have to get on a bus at like six o'clock in the morning to go to that school because it was like 45 minutes away. So she's always gotten up early. So I guess it was training for her job in New York. <laughs> All right. So once we get this done, then we can go on to the decorating. That's the best part. That's my favorite part. All right. So make sure we have our stripes going the right way. We do. And put our tape on. <coughs> She's preparing for motherhood. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to put her again. Oops. Halfway on, halfway off. Then we want to make sure it's even here. Oh no, not that way. Sorry. You're going to go again on this side. Just make sure it's kind of even. And like I said, I did an eighth of an inch away from the score line. You could go right up to it if you want. So there we go. And then just give that a nice burnish down. And then we have our other page. Which is this one? Make sure I have the right ones that they match. 
We want the deer heads in the middle to match. So this is the page for this. So again, you're going to make sure it's nice and square over here. Nice and even over here. So again, we're going to take this off. And I just want to make sure it's nice and even. And then for our last page, I didn't want to cover up this. And since we had to use our paper sparingly, this is going to be the front and last. Oh, darn it. I put this on here. Oh, that's right, because I have the tape on there. Oh, forgot. All right. So what we're going to do is put our tape on here. Oh, my gosh. So remember, you're half on and half off. Just like that. And then this one is going to go right like that. And then on this one, you just need to put um, your strip down. This last page will have no pocket. So, let's see, I'm going to trim this. So the nice thing is that this one already has a tape on it. I'm just going to lay it down like that. And that's it. That's all our pages put together. So let's just trim this. And then we'll go back and close, <coughs> close them up. <coughs> but like I said, if I was still working on this album, and I would have my pages just like this. So they all would be opened. Because now you could decide whether you want to put a flap in here or a flap in there. But we're going to make pockets on all of them. So what I'm going to do is just take my glue. And you're just going to add a bead of glue just at the top and bottom. I mean, you could close it if you want to. If you don't think you're going to add more mats on here. But um, I might, so I'm not going to close mine yet. Just make sure it's on there nice and tight. And then you're going to do that for each page. You're going to do top and bottom. So you get nice big mats in here. Five by seven mats. That's that page, this page. Again, you're just going to do the top and bottom. So the nice thing about this is it does hold 5x7s, a lot of 5x7s. And you also get your 4x6s in here. Oops. It's like chalk. It's one of my favorite pages, this page. <laughs> Your cat wakes you up at 5.30 every morning to let her out. Ugh. My puppies used to do that. They used to, if you budged in bed at like 4 or 3 o'clock by 1, oh my gosh. She would get up. You would have to get up. So we finally had to just put them downstairs because we just couldn't take it anymore. We were like beat. So there we go. So one more. Put a little bit in there. Okay. 
So you see how that holds? You always have a pocket. So, just make sure it's nice and even. Like this one's off just a little bit. So, just fix that. Ah, I crooked it again. Let's see if I have enough glue on this one. Yeah. And then remember this last one has no pocket. So now we're ready to put it in our book and then we can decorate. Oh, I got to plug you guys in. I'm losing you. Hold on. There we go. All right, so we'll take our book. Remember, we put our tape all on the back here already. And so what we're going to do is just you want to center it top and bottom and also from the width. So you're going to center top and bottom here. So I leave about a half inch from here and then a half inch on each side. So we're going to take all this off. And then just make sure I center it. Top and bottom. And then you're going to give it a good press, each one. See, now this one doesn't have enough glue on it, so I'm going to have to fix this one. This was the one that I kept taking off and on, so <laughs> let's see what we're going to do here. I think I just have to add some more glue here and on the inside here. Do that one. Make sure that's down. Yep, and there we go. So there's our book. So now we have it. Each page. Oops, this one needs a little bit more glue. Or did I forget this one? I might have forgot this one. Yep, and with each one you have a pocket, like I said. So. Now remember we have our other pieces, our 4x12s, which are going to go in the middle. Um, so that's these pieces here. All these pieces, can you see there? So now we have to put these down. So that's what we're going to do. So let me get those out. And a couple of these, like this is the one we're going to use for our present, so we're not going to be using that one. So our first one is going to be the trees. So that's this one. And let me get them all out. So our trees and then our plaid. Our trees. The plaid. Uh, this one and then I think I have one other one nope that's it and, that. and these other ones we cut up for um, for mats <coughs> so I hope I have my scoreboard up here oh I don't think I do yeah I do so what we want to do is 
You want to score these right in the middle, but kind of like a little off too. So I can show you what I mean. So we're going to score this at six, like that. And then you're just going to move it over. Let me see if I can show you. You see where the six is here. Oops, here. I'm going to put my score line right where that bump is and just score right next to it. You just want to kind of like an eighth of an inch, but you want it kind of in the middle. Do you know what I mean? Just to give us a little ledge. You see how we get so that we could add our glue here and it's going to go in the middle of our pages. So I want to do that to each one of these. So, whoops, here. And then you're just going to move it oh, oh, off camera. You're just going to move it over a tad and score again. And remind me not to put the trees upside down this time. You just want a little bit because it's going to go in between the, um, the quarter inch score line we have. put our first one down which is the trees and we'll want to ink these and I inked everything with black soot just want to get rid of that white core So then when I, I did this one, let's make sure our trees are facing up. They are, right? The branches are up, or does it go this way? <laughs> I get confused. That's down. This is up. <laughs> the branches go up. There we go. So what we're going to do now is, let me burnish this. <clears throat> Make sure that's nice and even. So remember, you have two little lines. That one, and then the other one is just a little off, just a little hair. So. Ugh. I need a bigger desk. <laughs> so what I want to do is just get this off the hair. Oh, off camera. So see we have that little tiny ledge and that's where we're going to put our I'll make sure I get them upside down now. <laughs> Go this way. And I have it so that the trees are on the outside. So it's going to go this way. So it's going to fit in here just like this. So we want to put our glue here. And then we're going to use the reindeer heads to um, hold it down. And then you just want to lay this down in the middle. I get it in the right spot. No. I'm looking for my bone folder. My other one. My long one. There it is. I want to just give that a second to, to dry. Ugh, I put too much. And then we have our deer heads. So let me get those out. I 
and I cut four of them so I could use the heads out. And then we'll have to ink these. So, I don't think I put enough. You have to make sure that you have enough glue on. It's such a little ledge that I don't have enough glue on there. And make sure it's right down the center. And then just wipe up any glue that you might have on the excess there. There. And then I did um, do the deer heads in the brown. Do you guys have any questions so far while I'm just doing this? Ugh, I'm doing it my green. I need my brown. <laughs> Where is my brown? I'm getting an electronic cutter. I have the um, Cricut. That's the only one I have. And then these, we have to cut the little heads off and then pop these up. Somewhere along the line from last week and this week, I lost my Timmy scissors. So you just want to, I just cut it right up the antlers. They're just like that. One. Just want to round it off for his little head. Oh, she wants to zing. You're getting a zing. That's nice. And I'm just going to do this one. And then I'm just going to put a pop dot in between these. it up with this one like that and then this one on this side And then I, let me, see, let me move this so you can see, but uh, I use these deer heads to hold the, um, the pages down. So you just want to put glue just in this corner, just so that they could slip in and out. So I'm going to use, um, let's see if I have any glue dots for now. Yep. So I'm just going to put a glue dot right here at the bottom. Let's see, we're just here at the bottom here. And you want to make sure that the glue does not put a little bit over. Not get in his antlers. So this way it's free. 
So see how it gets tucked in and holds like that? I love my Cricut too. <laughs> and then we're going to do the same thing with the other side. Just put a glue dot here at the bottom. And then it's going to go on this side. Just want to make sure you don't get any glue so it stays right in there like that. So there we go. So that is these two pages. And then I did take this sticker from the sticker sheet. I think it's a sticker. Oh no, from the we'll go back and do the notary pieces that I added. I added a um I keep call it notary, the die cuts. So see on this one, I put this here, this Merry Christmas here. And then we'll go back and cut our mats too that we put in there. So then our next page is this page, and this is with a piece of acrylic, and then I use the um, <coughs> Tim's new um, greenery. So we're going to do that. I use this die, and then the, to make the bird's nest, I use this. I just cut it in um, brown paper, and then that's how I created the bird's nest. <coughs> So we need a piece of acetate and I always save my um, packaging from my um, cutting mats. So we need to cut a piece of this. So I'm just going to open this up. And then I'm just going to gauge about how far I need my black marker. So I need this. It's going to go across here like that. And then down here like this. And straight down. Whoops. And I'll cut one for this side. Oops do the same thing. So straight down. Just like that. <coughs> and then you're just going to cut on the outside of the marker. So you want to cut that, doesn't matter if the black stays here, but you need the black off of that edge. So just cut this down, Oops. off, and cut this off. Alright, so that's the one I need to cut a little bit more off of this one. So that'll be for that corner, and then we need one for the other side. Thank you, Fairy. And then we're just going to do this side. And then save this other piece because we need this piece for when we put our reindeer on. that'll be for that side. So. 
That's for this one. And now I do put tape on mine. It doesn't bother me that it shows. It doesn't really show that much. It's very hard to put um, acetate down. Oh, where's my tape? Um, unless you're covering it up. But as long as... Uh, oh, use this one. There it is. I'm going to use my 1 8 inch tape. So it's always best to put it on the paper first. Make sure I put this so we measure it right. And then this one goes up to his head. Just make sure that this is down really well. <clears throat> and then you're just going to lay this right on top. like that and you can't you can notice it a tad but you don't really notice it that much there we go and then remember I said for you to save your strips of course um, I can't find my other one so we'll just put one on tonight and then when I put the other one I'll have to find it <coughs> so I need what's in my strips Of course I can't find my two red ones now. I had one before. Oh, there it is. Oops. So then what we're going to do is put um, this right on here like this. And then I ink these also. So I tried to get the, the little V's across there like that. So we could put our tape right on there. Oh, my glue dots. Coming apart. So we're going to put our tape along the top here. Oh, my God. make sure you don't get your tape outside that pocket line and then I just add this right here We can just cut this off and just tuck it right in our pocket. So I'll put a glue dot in the back here. And then I'll open up my pocket here. Make sure there's no glue showing. And then you can just tuck that right in there. Just like that and then this one I will just cut off so there we go now I don't know where my other strip is here I'll have to look for it so but we can still put our um, <coughs> birds and stuff on there <coughs> 
So then what I did was I took the greenery. So what we're going to do next is we're going to um, color this in and then make our little bird's nest. So let me get all that together. So you need one of these, one of those, one for that side. One here, one there, and I used two of those just to make it a little bit thicker. So we need two of these, we need one more, and we need another, let's see if we need more of those. And one of those. Oh my gosh, I wish I could read this chat. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Still about machines? <laughs> oh, thank you, Ella. I love this page with the um, with the greenery. All right, so let's ink these up. I inked them with the, um, I think, far screen and then also with the, with the brown. So we need forest moss. Ink these up really quick. Oh, I forgot to put this one down. Let me put this one down and get the edges down anyway. You love the foliage corners? Me too. And the bird's cute. The bird comes with the die cuts. this down really quick and I like the acetate um, pockets because in this way you could still see the deers I love the deer page so I'll just put these down like that and then let's ink these really quick So yeah, so we should be able to finish this tonight, so that's exciting, because then we'll have this project finished well before Thanksgiving, which I was hoping we would, and then I can send mine off to my nephew. Mm -hmm. oh, I need the color of the card stuck. Are you talking to me? No, I didn't cut these with the Cricut. I used the new die, the Tim's new die. Um, where is it? It's a Sizzix. It's this one. It's called um, Holiday Greens. Yes, scrap it out do has them. Thank you, Janny. Oh, look at my little thing that came out of there. Huh. Why is that? Okay, so then you're just going to touch the ends of these just to give it a little dimension. So I'll do one so you can see. And then I go back over it with the brown too. So you just want to touch the ends a little bit. And so see how it looks? It just gives it a little bit more depth. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, they're out until next week. It's a really pretty dye. I think I'll use that a lot. I could see that using it for forest, for camping. So you want to do that with all your greens. Just touch the ends of it really lightly. And then uh, I go back over it with the brown, and then we'll do our our little nests too. Let's stick this up here. 
there. And I need this one. This one is the Gathered Twigs. One of my favorites. Oh, yeah. I only have one little nephew, and the, um, the rest of them are all grown now, so. <laughs> He's funny, though. He's, he says I, that I'm a real artist. I have to laugh when he says that. <laughs> uh. So then I just want to touch this up with the brown a little bit. Darken it up. These would be pretty with the acorns coming from there, wouldn't it? Let's pull this out. And then we'll just darken up our bird's nest. And this also comes with a little bird, but if you have, um, you know, a cardinal die cuts, they have Tim's on there. You could put any little birdie on here. I think this would make good seaweed too for ocean water. If you cut these in orange, I think they would make good seaweed. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi, baby girl. <laughs> Hi, Gwen. <coughs> How are you? Okay, so we have that done. So now we can put that together. <laughs> Oh, you're censored. You should be able to. What happened? How are you? Good. We're doing good. All right. So now we're going to take our book. And then I just use little glue dots, which mine are like all over the place. whole roll unraveled <laughs> and then we're just going to go ahead and add them on so I just take it where the big leaves are and I just put them in a few places so I put this one kind of right in the middle take our little ones and these are little baby glue dots I'm using so you can get right in between that space there so I put one up here and don't forget I have to still put my strip up there so I want to leave a little room <coughs> to do that and then I'll have one underneath. Oops. And then to do our bird's nest, all I'm going to do is, see how it has this line that kind of goes right down the middle here? <coughs> all I do is I bend these over, like that. See I bend that? And then this one that has a point, I just bend that underneath. Get this little 
and then same with this side this little corner here you're going to bend it underneath So and there's your little bird's nest. So we're going to put that right in there like that. <coughs> so one there, one there, and one there. And then we could fill it in with some others, but I think that's good enough. So we're going to do the same with the other side now. So let's get these others. Dar hadn't seen her in a while. No, I haven't seen Dar in a while. I know she was busy. She had, had dinner out with her um, her son not too long ago, and then she was away for the weekend. But I don't know where she was this week. She didn't stream. I didn't see it. So then we're going to do the same thing again with this. So we're going to... Huh, wrong ones. What does she need? You have to, duh, my dad's up twice now. <laughs> Alright, so one here. Here and there. So that one's going to go right there in the middle. And then, whoops, need one of these. So one's going to go at the top here. And I just kind of stick it in between. And then we need one at the bottom. Oh, you're back! <laughs> oh, he's better to board a plane. And then this one that goes to the bottom. And then again, you're going to take this, fold it over like that. Tuck this corner in here like this. And then this one will tuck under there. So you have your just little bird's nest just like that. One glue dot there, one there, and one here. So there we go. Let me get the die cuts out here. our bird. We're going to need this sleigh and Santa. We need this. Here's where I got this one piece from here to the other page. And I'm missing my little bird. Let's see, maybe it fell out. I'll have to look for my little bird. I don't know where it is right now. Okay, always the way. Slide the way. 
Oh, there he is. I got him. I got him. There he is. So we're going to fold this one. We have to put this on the other page. So I'm just folding it. Remember, you have to give it that little bit of a, a lift, lip like. So we'll ink that. We need these. Put this over. Let's ink this one. And then we're going to um, use a pop dot and pop him up. You see? I'm going to put it right there. Oh my gosh. Hi, Linda. <laughs> I didn't see you come in there. Let's say hi to anybody who come in that I missed. So then I'm just going to lay that right there. And then um, I'll probably go over this with my Wink of Stellas, which I don't know where they are right at this moment. But I went over, like you can see here, I don't know if you can see it. Um, see how he is glittery? I went over with the clear and put the little nose and that. So, um, I'll do that. And then what I did was, let's see, where is my other? Then this piece with the deers, I cut this in half. And those will be the mats that'll go in here, along with some brown ones I did. Oh, I need a new blade. So that'll go in there. Remember, I have to put my other piece in here still. That goes there, and that goes in there like that. All right. So let's put our other piece here. So I'll ink this. Thank you. <laughs> and so what I did was I glued this right, right on there on each side. So I'm just gonna take a glue dot So that's that page. We're done with that page. And then now we move on to this one. And this one gets the plaid. So that's this. So I'm going to ink that. Thank you, Marilyn. paper is really pretty. Ashy's album came out really cute too, didn't it? So like then I'm going to, I'm just going to do it instead of this. I'm just going to do on one side like an eighth of an inch. I'm going to move it on this side and do about an eighth of an inch. There. So that gives me that little lip like. You see it? It's just like a small, and that's where I'm going to put my glue. And then this one. Where is my glue? <laughs> there it is. Is 
And this one is going to go... Oh, this is not the right page. This does not go on the stripe page. Oh, you know what? I did the stripes out of order. This goes on my Noel page. Oh, I almost put it on the wrong page. <laughs> so, it's going to go just like that. Burnish this down. And then this page to hold it down, I used the flowers. So we're going to do that. So now on this book, I use the um, Spellbinders flowers. But um, for tonight, I'm going to use the other flowers. So let me get those out. Yeah, I am cold. And you don't see I have a blanket on my legs because it's freezing up here. <laughs> we usually keep the um, heat up here kind of cold till we come up. So um, I turned it up a little bit, but it's still cold. <laughs> it's really cold. All right. So we have those. That. My greens, too. The leaves. I love even these little tiny ones. Isn't it cute? The little ones. I love those. Sorry. <laughs> Hi, Ash. <laughs> um, so we're going to use these. I'm going to just, I don't know if the brown will show. Probably not. I probably will go back and add stickles or something like that. But um, just so that we could get through all the other pages because we have a half hour left. I want to make sure that we get everything done. Um, so this is... I need a medium one. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to put mine on with glue dots. So I have one there. And I think I'm going to use a little one. I'm going to put three on here. And then you can put whatever you want in the middle. Um, I think I'm going to put some of these gems. So let's see, maybe we'll use these. So I think I'm going to use the, the green one. Green one like that. And then we need some leaves. So now you want to make sure that when we glue this down, that we, you know, we to glue it so that these could get tucked underneath here. So I can go ahead and use a big glue dot for this one. So it's still, still get tucked under and then I want to put um, a leaf underneath here. And I think I will go back and stickle these probably. So I'm going to put two leaves here like this. Thank you, baby girl. They are pretty, aren't they? I love the flourishes. And like I said, I would go back and ink these green, but I want to make sure we finish the pages so I can always go back and do that. So there's that one. And then I used a little one also for here too. I'm going to use a smaller one. This one. Oops. So 
I'll glue that and I need another little one to go in the middle. It's so cute, I love these little tiny ones. And then we'll put another, we'll use this, um, this light green one here. For that. And then we need a leaf for this one. So that looks good. Just like that. And so now see this will hold our uh, mat in there. Isn't it cute? <laughs> oh, my nephew, he's eight. He's eight. I think he'll like the Elf um, album better. I'm debating whether next week if I should do, you know, like we did last year, the Elf, the heart-shaped one and make an Elf head, or if we should just do a regular album. And then on this side, I put just a small one on this side. So we'll just put, maybe I'll do two like that. Can you see this one? Yeah. So we need another small one. So I'll do this one. On here. You artsy chick <laughs> and then I'm going to put one down here so that will hold that and then we need a leaf well I'll put two leaves I think on this one also so put one up here and maybe one down here like that isn't that pretty looks nice doesn't it I really like it I love these tiny little ones maybe I'll put one of those on there So let's stick this one down. Like that. And one there. And I think I'm going to stick this tiny little one in there too. Just because it's so cute. And then we'll stick stick some of those in there, our little um, dots. Cute. <laughs> so I'm going to put one of these, the bigger green ones, on this one. And then we'll use this other little green one for here. And I definitely will go back and do some um, stickles on here. Isn't it cute? Came out cute, didn't it? All right. So that's for that page. So this page is done. Uh, those flowers are really, really cute. I just love them. And, of course, you could line them, too. You know, if you wanted to put something in the back of them, you could line them. But they look really nice lined, too. So that's your choice there. Okay, so now we're on to this page. And this page is pretty easy. What we're going to do is put our Santa and our sleigh. And so this page gets the one with the words. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to fold this. You're going to leave it a little eighth of an inch there. Fold that. And then do the same on the other side. So now this one I put a pyre. So I'm going to put our glue on there.
And then this one is going to go right. Oh, let's see where I have this one. Right below that red line there. So we'll stick that in there. Make sure you put that, burnish that down. Just like that. And then this one gets the sled here. Let me move these other flowers. We are going to need one more flower. And then what I did was I glued, I tucked him here like this. And that's what holds um, this page down, just like that. So let's glue this down first. Hi, Miko. So you want to glue that down. Just like that. Pull this up. So that's going to have to move some of this stuff. Ah. So that's going to get glued here. Just like that. And then we're going to put our Santa so that he is holding our page down too, just like that. So I'm just going to stick some glue on his feet here. A little belly there. I want to get his arm out just like that. And then this way this gets tucked in there just like this. And then I'm going to just, we want to get our five by seven mat. There's going to be um, one of these brown ones that will stick down in here. So it'll go also, it'll get tucked in here like this. So you want to make sure you don't glue that too far down. And then this will also get glued like this. So that will hold that down. Thank you. So then on this side gets the tree, little Christmas tree. Yes, the Santa, I love the Santa. He's really cute, 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 cute. So on this side we need the sleigh bells ring. Oh, okay. We need the tree and then we need our sleigh bells ring. If you can find it. Sleigh bells ring. We need our 25. We'll need our deer. We need our be merry. Of course, this all fell out. We can't find the sleigh bells. All right, so we need, we don't use a mustache. We only need our Christmas, we need our reindeer. I don't see the sleigh bells ring, so I might have to put that down later when, he, when I come across. Of course, the whole little thing just like dumped out of everywhere, so I don't have it. You need this. Might as well take it all out. Just let me look in here one more time. We might use our bow on the back there. And we do need our ribbon. Oops. I <laughs> need you guys. Sorry. We need, uh, I think I'm going to use a snowflake. So we'll see. We need that. I don't know what happened to it. So we'll have to do without it. And then when I come across it, I'll have to put it on there. So I just don't see it in here. This is what I was looking for. It's on the bottom on this page. I put the sleigh bells ring to make a pocket and then the Christmas tree. 
So I'll have to wait till I find that. But we have the Christmas tree. So I can't do that until I find the sleigh bells. So let's just get this all organized. Maybe it's... I must have dropped it coming out of the package maybe. I don't see it here. The Christmas. Maybe. Nope. Alright, so that's the only thing that's not put on this page is this is the sleigh bells and the little tree and the little tree is what holds this mat down here so it goes like that so i can glue it here at the on the corner and then when i get the other sleigh bells i could put that down just to hold this tree down so it's going to go just like that Oh, I wish I could get the chat for moving. All right, so then this page is done. So now we're on to this page, and then we'll have one more page. This is the one that has the most stuff on it, too. So for this page, we... We need our reindeer, which we have. And remember, we needed the other place, piece of plastic. Here. So what we're going to do is glue our reindeer to the acetate and then cut around it. Because it's so thin, it's just paper that it has nothing really to stick on. So we need it. You could um, put like a uh, matte gel to make it a little bit stronger. And of course, you could put it on chipboard too, but I like using the acetate, so that's what I do. So just ink this, ink it around. Okay. So now I want this to go on the corner, so I'm going to glue this down. And then we'll trim around it. So I'm just going to put some tape on the back. And you don't have to worry about like gluing him totally down because he will be on the acetate. And then for the little uh, antlers, I want to use my 1 8 inch tape. Those you do want to make sure you get glued down because they're so um, fragile-like. And I'll do one on his little hoof here. And one here. And you're just going to peel that off and then we're going to cut it around. Because we just need for to make it like a pocket, so you're only going to be gluing just by um, his little feet and his head. I take it all off. Oh, forgot his antlers. So and then I go glue this down. like that and then we're going to just cut right around you don't have to get really close up to leave a little bit of an edge where his antlers are though I do just cut straight across Although on, on the other one, I think I did cut in between. So 
there we go. So now we're going to put him like this. And we're, so we're only going to glue him here on each end. Just so that we'll have a pocket here. And I just want to cut a little bit closer to his feet here. So I'm going to take a glue dot. I want the bigger ones. Actually the smaller ones. So I'm going to put a little glue dot here. Oops. And here. And then we're just going to tilt that just like that. So now we'll be able to put our mat. We're going to have these mats. And then I put the joy in there. And I also put the little Santa in here like this. And then I put the let it snow. So let's get that out. So I'm just going to put that there. that page is done and I did cut some snowflakes out too so I don't know if we'll use those we'll see but I have some snowflakes that I cut out so we could add them maybe we'll see thank you Ella this is my favorite page because it has of course all the all the uh, <laughs> well, a lot of junk on it <laughs> So now on this one, we need our Christmas uh, Merry and Bright that goes here. And then I had a little snowflake. I'm trying to see what else I have on here. I have the big black snowflake on here. So that's this one. Gets tucked behind here like that. And then I have my other bingo cards going on this page. And I have a red snowflake. Let's see if I can find that one. Mm. Oh, I don't see my little red snowflake. So the page looks just like this. So this is what I was looking for, this and this. And then I did use that little uh, let it snow. So what you're going to do is, and I, I need a piece of paper for here, the back piece, which I don't seem to find right now. So let's see what other scrap I have. I don't think I used the plaid, so maybe I'll just put the plaid on here. I'm going to cut this here. And then cut this down here. So I'm just going to put glue at the bottom just so they can slip a picture on there. goes like that it's at the top of the poinsettia no that's joy <laughs> this one I don't see it I'm sure it'll turn up but I don't see it right yet all right so then what we're going to do is we're just going to glue this just on the corner because this is the pocket so just right here at the corner just like that and then
then I did take from the sticker sheet I took this um, let it snow So this goes right here at the bottom. <laughs> I know, I just saw it, so it's around here. I just have to find it. <laughs> oh, that's Noel. was like in the package and of course do you think I could find the package like right now no <laughs> all right so then this is our pocket here oh we need to glue our our little snowflake down oh let's ink the edges do I have the Bermuda triangle in my craft room Sophie <laughs> yes I do <laughs> or else my little elf is um fooling around with it tonight <laughs> so then I'm just going to glue that oh wait you have to remember you can't put too much glue because remember this is a pocket so we really just want the glue just on this one side so that we could slip this in all right so we have that and then if my other snowflake I had there so then this goes here just like that so it came out cute and now we're just on to our last page so Let's go ahead and do that real quick. And that page is the one where we um, we create this little um, present here. So let me get that paper. So that is Our present paper, what did we do with it? <laughs> did I put it in here? Hold on. Sometimes I stick stiff stuff underneath here and but I don't see it there. Um uh oh. Hold on a second. Yes, those sneaky little elves. Where could it be now? And I st stuck my paper so I wouldn't forget it. And now it's like... Uh -oh, everything's falling down. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on a second. Well, I need to put our Christmas on here. The Christmas goes here. Right there. And then we need our two and our five to create our pocket here. And then we need our doily. We need one of these. This is the Prima doily. spilled our pocket and this is pretty easy so I'll have to just show you with this one because I can't seem to find uh, the paper so all we're gonna do is just glue this right down it's 
So it just goes just like this. Figure this would be a nice page put there. Christmas Day picture. And then what I did was I just glued the five to the two. So you just want to do that. So that's going to go down there just like that. And that's going to create our pocket here. So what you want to do is, oh, and I cut, put the little doilies here. So I cut, I cut the middle out. And this is the same doily I used to create the, um, the little elf card, this card. I might have to stick him in here. That we can wonder see if it's dry. Yeah, it's dry. I could stick them in the inside here. Or we could stick them in here. So once you cut that, then I cut um, three here. For the outside of the five. And then three, four, the other. Yeah, well, actually, I think I did two on this one. We'll see how far this goes. So I'm just going to put a little glue here. And that goes on the five. Like that. And then I just cut this down. that and then for this one I just did the two I think so I'm just gonna put glue here thanks thanks it comes out cute isn't it it's I think it's a really cute cute little book So then once you have that, that creates our pocket. So we're going to cut this straight across here. And then you're just going to glue it down. Just going to glue it here and just down here so that you can slip this in here for a pocket. So I'm just putting it right here on the edge and then just right down in here. So that gets down just like that. It does come together pretty fast, doesn't it? Yep. And then the last thing you would do is you would just cut these um, five by sevens and then slip them in um, there. But so, where's my top now? I'm really mad I can't find that page. I'm sure my little elf is like playing around with me. <laughs> but it's pretty easy. It's just a 4 by 12 piece that we had. Which I do not know where it is. I'm just putting my top back on here. And so then all you're going to do is you're going to take your 4 by 12. You're just going to score it here at an inch and a quarter. And then um, just put some glue just to hold it down. It's like a matchbook, you know, and you're just going to score it here to hold it in there. And then where the red stripe was, I used the leftover from the banner and glued that on there. And then I wanted to use on, um, once I find it, I will put um, this little bow again. Oops. Oh, I lose that too? Oh, here it is. So instead of using this bow, I'm going to put this bow here at the top and then maybe add a little bit bigger bow on there. But I'm really used to make them. <laughs> so, and that's it. And then the rest of your paper you could just cut up and then just stick in, um, you know, in between. Like we didn't use this one. So I actually took this and this one. <coughs> excuse me, and added it together 
And that's how I came with these big mats that go in here. So, so that'll go in there like that. And this, I think I might tuck this in here. Let's see if it fits in there. Then peeking out like that. Isn't it cute? <laughs> so, you can go back over it again. What we did. And here what I'll do is I'll take the uh, mats out of this one so you could see. So then you would go ahead and create another mat here. Well, let me move you out so that you could see. And then we'll be done. There we go. So that's the mat for there. And here you could journal or whatever you want. Then we did this page. Remember these come in and out. Oh, I still have to move up a little. There we go. <coughs> move this out of the way. Then once we did that, we did this page. And then I also had some brown mats that I put on. Um, on here. So they would go in here like that. And then on this page also, oops, you have to make sure that glue isn't stuck there. I also took um, some brown mats and stuck them in the middle here. So they would get tucked under there. And it would be on both sides. And then we did this one. And then remember, I have to put that sleigh bell rings on the bottom here. Then this is our other page. And I think I have brown mats on here too. On this one, oh, I cut these. You have these mats, the beige mats. And then um, I just have to add that little snowflake here. And then this is our last page. And that was it. So pretty much came together pretty quick. Oh, and I put a little poinsettia flower on this one. So here at the edge here, I'll add another little flower. Do you guys have any questions? Any questions? Oh, your chat broke. Oh, no, Miss Pris. <laughs> well, have a great Thanksgiving. There's no questions. Or if there's anything you want to see, I know those of you who have had any problems with the um, with this kit, let me know, and we can go over it next week sometime. Thank you. Thank you. It did come out really cute. I like it a lot. I think it came out really cute. Thank you, Gwen. <laughs> so, no other questions? <laughs> no. I right, have a great Thanksgiving and then um I will see you um next Wednesday and then we will start the Elf on the Shelf album and then make sure to watch for Ash. I think she's doing her last cards and then Tuesday I think she's on Scrappa's channel, I think. Or her own. No, this week she's on her own channel. And then Gwen will be doing something. Right, Gwen? And then Ella, don't forget to watch Ella on Monday night. So, no questions? Oh, thank you, Barry. Well, have a good Thanksgiving, and I will see you next week. All right, bye.